Hey there, you are watching Torogi Pro and we are going to configure a multi one configuration on your PFSense box. The basic requirement for your PFSense so that you can be able to configure multi one is to have three interfaces. I have three connections. You need to have two ISP and the other one would be your LAN. Now if you try to evaluate my network diagram here, I am using a private IP address on my one connections because I'm inside a private network with two different connections. So just to simulate how we are going to configure your multi one configuration on PFSense, you can see it here that there are two connections from ISP A and ISP B. Now you can see that this is different, that is 180, that 162 and this is that one that that eight from ISP and my internal network could be 172 the 30 that zero I that one that zero and one that one for this interface. So let's get started configuring this setup. You can see on my dashboard below here, I have three interfaces. I want to rename the interface names of these so that it will follow this one. So that 62, 162 would be ISP A. Let's go to interfaces and then one. And this is where we're going to configure this. For one, I'll just put the description here for ISP A. So I'm getting DHCP configuration from that one. IPv4 configuration, it depends on you if you are using PPoE or you have static IPv4 from your ISP. Now on my configuration, uh, I have DHCP running. Also sometimes the uh, ISP providers give you DHCP so this will be no problem. We save this one and then apply changes. If we have saved that one already, we can go to the other one. Opt1, this would be our ISPB. ISP B. Once we change that one, that's none. We have DHCP, the same DHCP running there. And then we go save. All right, since it's already saved, we can go back to our interfaces. You can see there ISPA, ISPB. We can check that one on our dashboard how it looks like. ISPA 162 and then ISPB.1.8. Let's check our diagram. Yes, ISP is 162 and then ISPB is 1.8. So we can minimize that one and continue configuring. So the next thing we're going to do is go to status and go for gateways. If we're there, you can see here, both of our gateways are online. Gateway we can see here is actually the IP address of the ISP providing the IP addresses to us. So the same with this one. So make sure both of these are online. Now the next thing we're going to do is go to monitor. So let's go to system and then routing. Now we are going to click edit because the monitor IP that is set here is the ISP. The recommended monitor IP is the DNS IP. Now I, I decided to use the I, public IP of Google and open DNS so that it would be much easier. So let's go to the monitor IP for, for the first one, ISPA, we can put... Um, 8.8.8.8 .8 and then we can save this one and then apply next one we'll use the IP for open DNS that's 208.67.222.222 and then save this one once it's saved we can apply changes now we can always go back to our status and go to gateways and check that one also. So the monitor IP are there, we are still online. Now let's configure your load balancer. Let's go to system and then routing, gateway groups. We are going to add here. Group name, ISP load balan balancer. And then uh, we change this one, this is A and B. We put them into tire one, group them together, and then internet address, that's okay. And then we, you can change this one with packet loss or high latency, but I, I always prefer member down description, dual load balancer. Then we save this one. Once we have already saved this one, it's good. After we have configured your dual balancer, let's go to your firewall rules and create a firewall rule for your load balancer to pass the traffic. Rules, and then we go for your LAN, and then we're going to add. Add here, and then it should be pass, 
on our LAN interface that should be IPv4 and then the protocol would be any LAN network here LAN net and then destination would be any description would be LAN load load balancer balancer traffic balancer traffic okay and then one more thing we need to do is click on display advance look for the gateway there you go gateway is there and then we're going to select IP load balancer dual load balancer this one and then we're going to save that one save apply and then that should work for us now after the configuration it's time to do verification so let's go to systems and routing uh, let's try to see the what ISPA is using as the monitor IP that's 8.8.8 .8 and ISPB is the IP address of open DNS so let's go to diagnostic and try to ping if both links are working so let's ping 8.8.8.8 .8 from ISPA and then let's ping that one so we are successful so there's a link between 8.8.8 .8 .8 in ISPA try to ping open DNS that's 208.67.222.222 and then let's try to ping that one from coming from ISPB and then ping so there you go we have we are successful again configuring multi one on PFSense with load balancer you are watching Toroge Pro and if you like my videos, comment down below, hit subscribe and like my videos. See you on my next video. Bye-bye.